Alright guys, super exciting news. We're here with the world's cutest dog and this is Cam. I love her. She has faith enough in me to drive all the way from Tennessee to bring him here. So tell us a little bit about him. Um, he is a Sealy Ham Terrier and uh, he was born deaf and uh, I, we believe that he can't hear anything at all and we were having problems with him. Uh, we have a 14-year-old Roddy and a 6-year-old Westy and he was nipping at them and you know they get along but um, just had uh, just not able to communicate with him so I saw one of her videos and Yay! called her up and, <laughs> and uh, I just drove him I just got in the car and drove him down you're, here. Honestly girl not the first person that's done that but I mean I think you're fabulous yeah. for doing that. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're doing, I'm starting him out with the IQ because he's how old? He is about five months now. All right, so what the first thing you guys want to do, and this is for everybody at home, I've got him interested in the treat. I've got the leash hooked to the pager collar, and I'm going to wait until he's not looking at me. As far as the jumping and stuff, you guys at home know that we do not correct that, and we don't correct that girl. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to start correcting him. Later, we'll teach him to down with the pager, and the jumping will go away. Okay. So, okay. so what I'm going to do is when his back is turned, I'm going to start my pager. And my little legs. Oh, look at his little legs, though. <laughs> look at his little legs. So I'm, do I'm doing the pager, and I'm pulling him to me. He's feeling that. You know, and again, you have to show him in the beginning what it is, that right. it is you communicating. But exactly. So the only thing we're going to teach him in the beginning is to move in your direction. We're not going to start teaching stay, anything like that, because, right. you know, again, well, if you came and I said, well, the only thing we were ever able to get him to do was come off the leash, you would say, yeah. well, you know, that's going to come in handy about every single day of his life. So, yeah. you know, and we will, but you've always got to start with that. Like, you wouldn't start with, you know, teaching him to stay or anything, because the most practical application is going to be... That's when you're gonna call. We're not gonna do any. Oh, he's already figuring out. So what I'm doing is starting the pager uh -huh. slightly so before, and I'm continuing to hold it down. Okay. So he can feel that vibration. Right, and I want you to watch. And what'll okay. happen is their head will start turning. Okay. So he's feeling it right there, and I can just kind of. You are the cutest little dog. Your little face looks like a little stuffed animal. He hops around like a bunny rabbit sometimes. Uh, well, don't they kind of have like a little choppy little gait or something? They do. They do. I don't think he'll be over about 25 pounds. I, I've turned him right there with the pager girl. I don't know if you can wow. see that, but... And again, you know, again, we're gonna... Until he masters this... Oh, yeah. You know, and again, what we're going to teach him is three basic behaviors. To come to you, to remain stationary, and then we'll teach him to get into a little bed. So it's only three basic behaviors. Again, it's not 30, 40, 50. Right, right. All right, so I'm going to start. <laughs> so what we're looking to do with the pager, and this is for everybody at home too, is, is it'll actually cause their head to turn a little bit when they feel it. So I'm just throwing the hand signal in there real quick. And you're doing the hand signal like this well, you know, again, and that's kind of universal. Yeah. Yes. So you see already. Yes. <laughs> you know, and in the beginning, I mean, you do want to keep the leash on there because mm -hmm. you have to guide the beginner, but. <laughs> and you're going to reward him, at, you know, 100% of the time. It's not going to, well, he should just do it because he, he doesn't even know me. I gotta tell you, girl. I mean, I told Victoria, you probably never see another one of these in your lifetime. They're so unusual. I know, I know. The breeder is really trying to keep them. You know, there's a small group of them, and she brought a, one of them over from um, Czechoslovakia. And she said what? we need more blood. Uh huh. They needed like an yeah, outcross. So we don't have a pool. We have a puddle. Well, <laughs> so. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, and that's probably why, you know, the deafness is so. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, the hand signals would be just universal. I mean, you know, again, if it was something, you know, if it was real windy or something and you couldn't hear me, I, you know, right. or I was over there and I wanted you to come in. So that's kind of universal. Mm -hmm. So I'm holding it down, holding it down. And I kept holding it down, and that's the crucial thing you guys have to do at home. You've got to keep holding it down. If you just, it, you know, think of it like, I don't know, like I get those like solicitor calls on my cell phone where it just rings like one time and then mm -hmm. they then they just hang up. It's a hang up call or whatever, and you don't, you just ignore it. Mm -hmm. So if you let it up, oh, he's gonna get feisty now. If you no, let it up before feisty. something happens, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna give him anything now because I didn't do anything. I'm gonna wait till he goes away. some of the slow-mo. I'm addicted to these slow-mo videos. But we'll do the slow-mo. It was very, very subtle. If you put it back in slow-mo, he went, and then he recognized what it was, and then he turned and came. But we'll probably use, all right, I'm holding it down, holding it down, holding it down, holding it down. And I let it up once he kind of recognized. But we probably will, because he is a little bit bigger. For some reason, I was thinking he's going to be like this big. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible with that girl. I picture them being. Well, I did too when I first saw the video. I saw a video of him before I went to get him in Missouri. He's been all over the place in the last three weeks. Oh, he's a good little traveler, though. And uh, he, um, I thought he was going to be little too. And then she brought him out. I was like, man, that's bigger than I thought. He's probably half grown right now. Oh, he looks like that. Tune. This is going to be our new little deaf superstar, and we're going to get them all trained. I want all of you guys at home to follow his progress.